The South African president, Jacob Zuma, has been re-elected leader of the governing African National Congress. He was re-elected by thousands of ANC delegates from all over South Africa who were gathered in Bloemfontein. The party conference comes amid mounting criticism of alleged corruption, which has overshadowed President Zuma's time in power. From Bloemfontein, our World Affairs editor, John Simpson, reports. It could be the first world, clean, tidy, prosperous. Even the bikes are top of the range. South Africa's black middle class is now three million strong. This place, Bloemfontein, or Mangaung, is where the ANC was founded a century ago. The ANC's conference here has been peaceable, even jolly. Not even the discovery of a white extremist bomb plot upset things. Comrade Jacob Zuma received 2,980 it was no surprise that Jacob Zuma was re-elected the ANC's president by a landslide. His new deputy, Cyril Ramaphosa, is a famously skilled negotiator and a wealthy businessman. His election will be popular with foreign investors. But huge problems remain, chief among them government corruption, something President Zuma himself has been accused of. One senior ANC figure says the movement's been attracting the wrong sort of people. Hitchhikers and staff riders have gotten aboard the ANC trains. It has become one of the means through which uh, people feel that they can accumulate wealth and create opportunities for themselves and for their families. And uh, that, of course, is to the detriment of the movement. It's 18 years since the historic deal between Nelson Mandela's ANC and F.W. de Klerk's white regime. Today, de Klerk speaks about Mandela with affection and respect, not so about President Zuma. Corruption is now out of hand. The past five years has been, have been bad for South Africa. The unresolved allegations of corruption has made him unsuitable as a leader for the next seven years in South Africa. Only a short drive from the ANC's conference hall is this place, the depressing squatter camp called Wesebetza. A single tap serves 700 people here. Corruption isn't the ANC's only failing. It's failed also to sort out key problems like this one. Squatter camps are supposed to be phased out in just two years, but it's obviously not going to happen. No one from the ANC has been near this place. We are suffer, we suffer a lot. We do suffer with a, a, a living place. We do suffer with the sewage. We do suffer with the toilets, I mean with the water. Really, really bad. You can see also, we have got nothing here. That's not how the founding father of the new South Africa wanted things to be, of course. But Nelson Mandela's real achievement is the normality, the ordinariness of everything here. People used to be afraid that when he died, the country might fall apart. Well, there's real anxiety about his health now, but nobody thinks South Africa's in danger. John Simpson, BBC News, Bloemfontein. Five female.